Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the Everything is Bad New Fangled Motion Picture Show. Hello, Internet. You're it. No tagbacks. Uh, this is, in fact, the Everything is Bad New Fangled Motion Picture Show. And I am Niall. And I'm Nolan. And today we're going to be reviewing Tag. Yep. Uh, coming at this a bit late, but... That's same, right. It's basically the same reason our Incredibles 2 review was late. Yep. So, Tag is a comedy uh, with Ed Helms, who you might remember uh, from The Hangover. From The Hangover. John Hamm, who you probably know from Mad Men. Uh, Jake Johnson, who uh, apparently is from The Mummy. Unfortunately yeah, for him. Yeah, if, unfortunately, well, unfortunately for him. For we, him. Have, we have two refugees from the mummy in this movie. Yeah. Um, because, yeah, I, I understand if you try to forget everything about the mummy, but um, also uh, Annabelle Wallace. Yeah. Uh, and then we also have Hannibal Burris and Jeremy Renner. Uh, so I, I would like to say, I would like to... All right, well, first, let's get, over, let's get through... The necessary business. Uh, we're going to be doing a spoiler-free review, giving you a warning, and going into spoiler territory. So if you haven't seen it and you don't want anything spoiled, stop listening after we give you the spoiler warning, which will also be up on the screen. So i just like to say Hannibal Burris should be in more things as more than a supporting actor. Yeah, I well, maybe. You think he could carry, like, a movie, like, as the lead? Well, maybe not as the like, maybe not as the sole lead. Okay. Because he's always, like, really great, but he's usually, like, that side character. Yeah. He's a really funny actor. Um, You might remember him as the cop from uh, Neighbors. Yeah, Neighbors. And, uh, oh... He was the, uh, I think he was like the gym teacher or something in, um, in Spider-Man Spider Homecoming. Homecoming. Yeah, when the guy was like, I'm pretty sure that guy's a war criminal now, but whatever. School says I gotta play it. Yeah. Yeah, that was Hannibal Burris. So, if you haven't seen the trailers, Tag is about a group of friends who've been playing the same game of Tag since they were little kids. Throughout the entire month of May, yeah, right? Th for, yeah, th so throughout the whole month of May, they're not real clear on when the month of May things started. Probably after they graduated Probably high after, school or yeah. something. Or... But uh, for the month of May, um, free game to be tagged, and they sort of use it as a way to like, keep in touch with each other and stay in each other's lives. It's all very heartwarming. Uh, but Jerry, Jeremy Renner wants out, and so uh, in, and he's never been tagged, so the gang gets together to try to get him before um, he quits, and... It's also Jeremy Renner's wedding time. Like, the the weekend that this takes place over, or the week or whatever, is around his wedding. Yeah. His character's wedding. So, yeah, and they they make some deals because they don't want to ruin his wedding. That would be a dick move. So, make some deals, like, during wedding business, like, so at the ceremony or... The rehearsal dinner. The rehearsal dinner and all that, they're not allowed to tag him. So, it has to be between those things. Yeah, so the all the comedy pretty much revolves around like how, the ludicrous nature of Jeremy Renner's avoiding being tagged. He goes to so like these extremes; it's ridiculous. Yeah, and them trying to match that, but never succeeding. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, it's it's a really funny movie. I laughed out loud a lot. Uh, it's getting mixed reviews from what I can see. A lot of negative reviews. Um, people are kind of either loving it or hating it. Yeah. Um, but I loved it. I yeah. thought it was. I thought it was a great movie. And like the whole the cast is all really great in it. Yeah, I like. I mean, I really like John Hamm as an actor. Um, and him being able to play sort of the straight man in this 
Yeah. Is he, it's just like he's, he's usually really the, good he's usually the it. voice of reason and everyone else being crazy. Yeah. And then sometimes Hannibal Burris is the voice of reason, but in like a weird way. Yeah. Like he'll poke a hole in someone's plan, but it'll be out of like some like out of left field observation of something. Right. So uh but yeah, I mean I highly recommend you see this movie. Um this is the second week that it's in theater. Yeah. And there were we were in the so the th- theater we went to is just like this long hallway of of uh, screen rooms. And there's how many screen rooms are there? There's a lot of seventeen or eighteen screen uh theaters in this multiplex. And this was at the very end of the hallway. Yeah. Very, it was the last theater on the right. And there were not a lot of people in there. No. Uh, I mean, I don't think the, I don't think this movie cost them a lot of money to make. No, but it's not doing that well. So I don't know if it's going to yeah. make the money, what little money it cost them to make. I don't know right. if it's going to make it back. Yeah, because well, there's, I mean, it's not like there's a lot of very expensive cast. I think probably john ham and jeremy renner are probably like the two biggest names yeah in the movie probably and uh, then um there's some there's some special effects there's like some a lot of stunt work in it because it's like a lot of like physical comedy yeah but i i saw this thing um that was like it was just like a behind the scenes thing of tag and it was as part of an advertisement i saw on youtube and it was um i think the the woman who played um ed helms wife yeah. i think it was her talking about how they did a lot of their own stunts for this because like nothing there's nothing real complicated just a lot of tumbling basically i saw that um jeremy renner like cracked a, a bone in his wrist and like in his leg or something yeah during i a stunt. see that he i mean he does a couple front flips and like does a lot of like crazy like s- rolls under people and stuff um so i could see that but yes i mean yeah there there's some stunt work but i think they pretty much all did their own stunts from what i gathered mm-hmm. um some so it would mostly been Jerry renner and ed helms doing the stunt work because they're the ones that get the most physically into it yeah uh oh and um Oh, oh there's that chase scene with Jake Johnson. Yeah, Jake Johnson. That's what I was trying to remember his name. Yeah, yeah, he's uh, was he does choreographed a to a Beastie some, Boys song. Yeah, there's some some stunt work on his part. Uh, yeah, so that was, that was cool. I mean, it's very entertaining movie. We was la- we were laughing the whole way through this movie, and the parts where you weren't laughing were like very bromance sort of scenes. Yeah. So, um. Uh, but yeah, I think that's probably all I have to say about it without spoiling anything. Yeah, so, pretty much. I mean, you know that it's just about grown men playing tag. Yeah, I mean the 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 trailers pretty well tell you what the movie's about. Um, and for once, the funniest scenes are not from the trailer. Yeah, the trailer doesn't have the funniest scenes in it, which is unusual for a comedy. You tend to see that as a problem. Yeah. Not that the scenes in the trailer were less funny, it's just, like, necessarily, but... Yeah. It, the trailer was well made in that it took what it needed to tell you enough of the story to get you into the theater. Well, to get us in the theater, got anyway. Got us in the theater, anyway, yeah. Uh, without ruining anything uh, of great importance. But yeah, it was, uh... I thought it was a really funny movie. Definitely. You don't get that many really good comedies anymore, I don't think. No. We don't get we don't get many good comedies that aren't like really sort of lowbrow humor. I mean yeah. like Super Troopers 2 was incredibly funny, but it's just a lot of like fart jokes and uh look at the dumb fat one and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. We don't get a lot of, we don't get a lot of comedies that aren't that. This had a little bit of that, but not not well it's a little higher than that yeah the the humor that was from dialogue was better than that the humor yeah. that was from like physical stuff was all pretty slapstick 
Yeah. Like, but it's, see, it was this movie's humor is a combination of the two. One right. usually you get like a movie that's one or the other. Right. Like, um, Death of Stalin was all dialogue based humor. Yeah. Uh, there was a little bit of like visual hu- gags, but not slapstick gags. It was just like you put. It was all like it was a visual gag. It was just like something. Something's in such a ridiculously silly visual situation, but yeah, like nothing, all the limos trying to leave Stalin's estate. Yeah. Nothing like slapstick levels, but yeah, this right. was a little, bit, a lot of slapstick, a lot of funny dialogue, and it all came together pretty well. Yeah, so recommend it. Go see it. Um, I mean, might be a little late at this point because like next week's Ant Man and the Wasp, and then we start really getting into the summer movie stuff. Yeah. So you might not find time to get to the theater for it before it's no longer in theater, which, which is, is which is unfortunate. Um, because I don't think it's gonna last much longer. No. It's I I doesn't seem to be doing that well, but. It deserves better ratings than it's getting, that's for sure. Yeah, it definitely does. All right, so uh, spoiler warning. Yeah. And we can dive a little deeper into this movie. Um, I don't really have much more to say as far as a review goes. Right. I mean, the... I think what I really like, like, I think what sort of set the tone for the movie is when it opens and Ed Helms is applying for a job as a janitor. Yeah. At the company that... um, John Hamm's like a CEO or something of this company. Yeah. And Ed, Ed Holmes is applying for the, and, the, and then like the, the HR guy or whatever is like, so you want to be a janitor, but according to your resume, you're already a veterinarian. Yeah. He's like, with you, a successful you, you practice. Have, you have a doctorate in veterinary medicine. You have a, your own successful practice. Why do you want to do that? Yeah. <laughs> right. He's like, if I didn't, you know, I to- don't really told you to get the fuck out of here, but I really need this build. So he's got like this fake mustache and a wig on and he goes into like in the middle of John Hansville giving a, an interview with uh, um, the newspaper, Wall Street, Wall Street Journal. And he, he comes in and takes him in the middle of this and she's like, well, what the hell's going on, right? So they they tell her what this is about. It's like, oh, this is a way better story than yeah. what I was going to get out of this. Right. And uh, that's the basis of the movie. In reality, the Wall Street Journal published a story about these handful of grown men that have which been playing is more tag. more. It turned out to be they, because they showed them some of the clips of these guys recorded tagging their buddies, mm-hmm. like in disguises and stuff. A lot of like a lot of like fake mustache and like fake dressing as an old woman sort of gags that were in the movie that you saw video clips of them doing in the during the credits. Yeah, uh, but it turns out that there was a, a lot more than the like. What five of them? Yeah. So basically, the the story of the, in the Wall Street Journal was just about this group of guys that have been playing tag forever and the the extremes they go to, and so that idea was taken and they made tag of it. None of the characters share names with any of them. Yeah. Or necessarily even like jobs or anything. Um, I think in the movie, in some cases, they went to more extremes than <laughs> in reality. Yeah. But they did go to some crazy extreme. You know, there there's a lot of stuff in the movie that was pulled from reality. Like the what's funny is at one point John Hamm does dress as an old woman. It's the same old woman costume as like oh, the dude it was, was Ed wearing. Helms. Ed, yeah, what I say? You said John Hamm. Yeah, Ed Helms. Yeah, it's the same old woman costume that shows the real guy wearing. Like, yeah, it was like the same it's dress, the, like, the same wig. Yeah. It was really funny. Um, and he just like walks up to this guy in the middle of the parking lot and takes. Him, you know? Um. In the real in reality, in uh, in the movie, they're just focusing on tagging Jeremy Renner's character, and they'll only like tag each other when it's like, well, he I, has need, a better, I need the tag. I need so the I tag get... so I can go get him. You know, yeah. it's not. They're not like competing against each other. They're just desperately trying to get Jeremy Renner. Uh, <coughs> yeah, it's anyway, all... I think that like sort of set the tone for the movie pretty it's... well. Yeah, it did. It's all it's all very like ultimately heartwarming these five bros, you know. We're not bros, but like five guys who are bros. They've been friends since they were kids. Grew up together and they've been yeah. friends since elementary school and all that stuff. So uh yeah, there's some otherwise there's some pretty good uh pretty good jokes in there and I mean we just I was just talking about all the jokes all night, but yeah. So, like I said, go see it. Recommend it. 
yeah. not often that we get good comedies like this so take advantage of it while you can um so let's see what next weekend's ant-man and the wasp at some point we were also talking about wanting to see sicario yeah don't know if we'll get to that because We've fallen behind. We're like a week behind on seeing movies and going into the summer movie season. Something's got to give. Right. So it might be Sicario. Uh, but yeah, like I said, Ant-Man and the Wasp is next week. Um, hmm. If Sicario's still playing a week after that, maybe we can go see it. Because there's not a whole lot. It's an awful looking skyscraper movie with Dwayne Johnson. Yeah, it looks pretty bad. The movie looks terrible. Uh, but the week after that, we got Equalizer 2 and then Mission Impossible. Teen Titans go to the movies. And that's through uh, June. July. July. Oh, God, it's July already. Yeah. Uh, then in August, you got Christopher Robin. Are we going to see the Meg? <laughs> I don't know. I, I want to see Black Klansman. Yes. <laughs> Uh, that that's based on a true story. Yeah, the and uh, the Happy Time Murders. <laughs> oh yeah, that movie looks really funny, but in like a really crude, gross sort of way, different kind of different kind of humor. Um, and then after that, I don't know, might be it for August. So we got the next few weeks uh, planned out as far as that goes. Uh, we should be getting back to streaming over on Twitch soon. This week, maybe? Maybe. Maybe. Uh, yeah, still playing Jack 2, or that's the plan anyway. So check out over on Twitch, twitch.tv slash everything underscore is underscore bad. Those get edited and posted up on YouTube eventually. Uh, but yeah, so that's what we got coming up. So till next time, thanks for listening. Bye. Toodles. Thank <laughs> you.